Greetings to the viewers of this video. In this video, we are going to see about the surgical sutures and ligatures. They are strings especially prepared and sterilized for use in surgery. Now, let's see what is a surgical suture. Surgical suture is a sterile string used to tie the tissue together, for example, skin, muscles, tendons, etc. Next, surgical ligature. It is a sterile string used to tie the blood vessels, such as arteries and veins. Now, let's see the classification of surgical sutures and ligatures. It is of mainly two types. The first one is absorbable sutures and ligatures and the second one is non-absorbable sutures and ligatures. Absorbable sutures and ligatures are strings that are digested in the tissue of the body after wound is healed. Example, catgut. Catgut is the most popular one. Kangaroo tendon, brocafil. Brocafil is extracted from horse. As the name suggests, non-absorbable sutures and ligatures are not digested in the tissue of the body after wound has healed. Examples are silk, linen, cotton, nylon, polyamide, and some metals like silver and stainless steel. The non-absorbable sutures and ligatures are further classified into monofilament and braided type. The monofilament is smooth in nature and they easily pass through the body parts. They have lesser strength and they are easily breakable. Moving on to the braided type the sutures and ligatures have rough surface and has high strength. While suturing, it may damage the tissue. The gap provided by this type may increase the chance of development of microorganisms. The disadvantage of the braided type can be overcome by the following methods. To avoid the microorganism growth, silicone fluid may be applied. The silicone fluid is water and oil repellent. Also, the rough surface of the thread becomes smooth by the application of silicone fluids. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.